Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Vance here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at Mayano's WM820 wireless microphone. I've been needing a wireless mic for a long time now, so this thing came just in time. Let's go ahead and get to unboxing it now and seeing what it has to offer. Okay, so the packaging looks really, really nice. Mayano's packaging is always nice and super sleek. There's the back of it and it just slides on out. And straight off the bat, you have an instruction manual. And then you have your two, well, I think one's a wireless receiver and one is the actual microphone, which we're going to figure out in just a second. And then in here you have a bunch of cables. So I guess this is the cable which will go from the receiver into the camera. And then we have another one which is for the phone, which I'm guessing will go from the mic to the phone. So you can also use this for your phone, which is really, really helpful. And then we have the lavier mic. And we also have two wind covers. And also in here you get a little pouch to carry all your little stuff in. So we'll take a look at everything else in just a second, but right now, this is what we're interested in. And these look so nice. They're super sleek. They're really, really small, which is perfect. They're not gonna like be bulky and obvious that you're wearing a wireless microphone. Not that I'm trying to spy on anyone, <laughs> but let's get these out of the box. And oh, in the box, there's also some more wires, which uh, maybe that's, a, I think that's a charging cable. And then you have one of these, which is like to pin down wires. And then there's also another wire on this side, which, yeah, again, is another charging cable. So this one here is our wireless receiver. And this one is the microphone. As you can see on top, it's got a little mic on it. And this one's got a bunch of outputs uh, for the camera and for your mobile phone, I'm guessing, as well. On the bottom, they have their charging slots. These have up to six hours of battery life, which is really, really good. And yeah, they're super lightweight. They're very, very light. They weigh literally nothing. So we're just taking a closer look at what is actually the microphone. You can see on this side, it has a pairing button, I believe that is. And then you have a button to mute. And then you also have this circle button, which I believe is the recording button. On the top of it, you can see where the mic is. And then you can see where you can plug your lavier mic into also, if you want to use that. And then over on the bottom of it is where the charging cable is. At the back is the clip, which will hook onto you. And yeah, that is pretty much it. it is super small and compact i absolutely love the way this looks the design is amazing so taking a look at the wireless receiver on the top of it you have two jacks one seems to be a headphone jack and then the other one is a output at the side of it you have the volume control buttons and then you have the other circle button which i'm guessing again is a record button the back you have the clip again and then you also have your charging slot at the bottom okay so let me show you guys how you set this up on the camera so this is our wireless receiver so we're going to just go ahead and use the clip on the back of it. And that is going to go onto the top of our camera like this. Now I've got to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of the way that works. You've got to put quite a bit of pressure on it, um, but it looks all right once it's on there, not too bad. Um, and then once we've done that, so you're going to click the circle button on both of them to turn them on. So you can see the green light. That means they are both on and then to pair them up, you're going to click the pairing button on the microphone and then you're going to hold down the volume up and volume down button on the receiver. So let's do that. You can see them both flashing. And they've stopped flashing, so I believe that means that they're now paired up. Next up, you want to go ahead and grab your cable and you want to plug one end into the output section and then the other end will go into your camera's input section for microphones. And that is the wireless receiver set up. So then you can use just this as the microphone, or if you want to, you can get your lavier mic, you'll plug it in to here and then use that instead. Also, as you guys saw before, it comes with these windbreakers or the dead cats, whichever you like to call them. These have got clips on them and on the microphone, you can see it's got these two little holes that will just clip on there when you're outside. So it will look like this. I'm not quite sure how these will attach to the lavier mic because I can't see any way to actually attach them but maybe we'll figure that out but now that that is all set up let's go ahead and get into audio testing so okay so as you guys saw the mic is set up on the camera as you can see i've got it attached to me uh pairing is super simple it literally took two seconds just as it said it would in the manual um and yeah overall so far i absolutely love these things so now let's go ahead and do an audio test i'm going to switch from this mic to this mic right now so the audio you're now listening to is coming directly from our Mayano WM820 microphone. And I've already listened to this back just because obviously I want to hear what it sounds like so that I can give you guys my thoughts as we go along. And I've got to say, I'm very, very impressed with it. The reason why I say this is that I've been through so many on-camera microphones and just microphones in general that just are not that good. 
And Myano continues to impress me. I actually do own a Myano microphone, a proper like desktop microphone, which I use sometimes as well. And yeah, the audio quality on this is really nice. It sounds crisp. And for the price point, in terms of lavier mics, you guys probably know lavier mics are very expensive. This is a really good option. And also, I'd just like to say this is the mic's raw audio. I've done absolutely nothing to it. I've done nothing in post. I've done nothing on the camera to like bring levels down or up or whatever, anything like that. What you're hearing is just the raw audio from the microphone up until right now. So now the audio you're listening to is the audio coming from this. Again, the only difference is now that it's had some editing done in post-production, which obviously is gonna make it sound a lot better. I don't know anyone that doesn't edit their audio to make it sound a little bit more crisp, a little bit more deep so you can get those nice undertones. But even without that, I think the microphone sounds pretty good. Another one big reason why I really wanted a microphone like this or a Lavier microphone is because I travel quite a lot. Um, I have a travel channel as well that I run with my girlfriend. And having a massive mic on top of your camera is just a perfect way to draw attention to yourself, especially in countries where people are a little bit wary when it comes to cameras, uh, especially if you have a microphone on top of them. It looks a little bit dodgy to some people. So this is super small. It's almost unnoticeable on top of the camera. And even if someone does notice it, I doubt they would even know what it is because it doesn't look like a microphone. But anyways, enough of me waffling. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Lavier mic and let's see how nice that sounds. So the Lavier mic just plugs into the little jack right here. And that is it. And then we've got to just attach it to ourselves, and we'll switch over to this audio. All right, as you can see, the Lavier mic is all wired up. And for some reason, it makes me feel like I'm doing something important or I'm on some like a mission. I think it's all the spy movies that I watch, to be honest. But anyways, you guys can let me know how you think it sounds. I have listened back to this. And in my opinion, I like the audio coming from the Lavier mic um, plugged into it rather than just the audio from the actual mic itself. And also the audio you're listening to from the Lavier mic is just the raw audio. Again, there's no editing, nothing done in post, nothing done on the camera to bring the levels up or down. Um, this is just the raw audio coming directly out of the Lavier microphone. However, now we're going to change over to edited audio. And so the audio you're now listening to has had um, editing done in post-production. So now that we've got all that out of the way, there's a few things that I need to tell you about this microphone. A few selling points for me personally is that this microphone has a range of up to 50 meters, which is really good. This means that I can get up, walk away from my camera over here, and you guys can still hear me perfectly. Obviously, 50 meters is a lot further away than this. I don't even know if you can still see me, but I could pretty much walk around my house and talk and you guys will still be able to hear me as you would if I was standing right in front of my camera. It does not make a difference uh, where I go. I can go over here in my kitchen, which again, you guys can't see on camera, but you can still hear my voice, which in my opinion, I think is amazing. Having a camera that is just attached directly onto your, sorry, having a mic that's di um, attached directly onto your camera really limits you as I think as a creator and in anything that you're doing, because it means you have to always be in front of the mic or you have to be at least close to it so that it can pick you up. Whereas with a Lavier mic or wireless microphones, I mean, as you just saw, you can walk off, you can still talk, and it's still gonna pick you up as crystal clear as it would as if you're sitting in front of your camera, which is a huge selling point for me. Another cool thing is this is an omnidirectional microphone, which means it doesn't matter what position I put it in, it's still gonna pick up the audio exactly the same, as opposed to other microphones like these ones where the audio receiver is right in front, so it has to be positioned in a certain way. It also has built-in volume controls on the receiver, which is very cool. Instead of having to go into the settings on your camera and go up and down with your volume controls there, you can just do it directly from the receiver. It's also mute controllable, so if I was to click the mute button, and by the way, I've just got this part attached to my trousers, there's a mute button on it, so if I was just to click that, that will mute the microphone automatically. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you can move around with this one as well. It does the exact same thing as a lavier mic, you don't have to be sat in front of your camera. And just one more thing to touch upon as well before we end the video, is that it also does come with a cable which you can just plug directly into your phone and record audio that way. The reason why I haven't been able to do it in this uh, video is because it doesn't come with the adapter for iPhones, which I do not blame them at all. It's so stupid that iPhones have the same charging port as they do um, for headphones. They could have just kept the normal headphone jack, but you know iPhone and Apple have always got to be extra. So yeah, you can just plug this directly into your phone. Um, TikTok is on a massive rise and I know it's constantly competing with YouTube and there's so many TikTok creators that this could benefit or even uh, YouTube Shorts creators that this could really benefit just to up their game in terms of audio. So I'm gonna end the video there, but I think it's only right now that we have a microphone where I can just walk around my room and do as I please whilst I talk to you guys, that I can end it standing up, which I never had the privilege of doing before <laughs> since I was tied down to a silly microphone that was on top of my camera, which didn't even work well. I really hated that microphone, I set that back. And before I end this video, I forgot to say this microphone only cost 89 pounds. Now, if you guys know anything about wireless microphones, especially Lavier microphones, 
they do not cost that much. They are a lot more expensive, easily reaching two to three hundred pounds and some going way beyond that. This is so affordable. So yeah, I want to say a massive thank you to my channel for sending me this microphone out and giving me the chance to test it. This is something that I'm definitely going to use on a daily basis and get a lot of use out of it. And by the way, if you guys do want to check this out, I have it linked down in the description. So make sure you do go ahead, click on that link and check them out. Mano make some great audio products, not just these, they make desktop microphones as well and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, go ahead and check them out. But yeah, that is it for the end of the video. It feels, it feels empowering to be able to stand up and make this video. But yeah, if you did enjoy this one, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on bell notifications. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.